Okay, so we've got we've got two Hermosa Beach police officers here already. Here we are in the Hermosa Beach Pier Theater. We've got two police here already. Did she say we can't film inside? I haven't. That's not press it. I want to be able to do it. No, don't say anything. Okay, we're in Hermosa Beach. Ted Lou is going to be giving one of his town halls. This is hosted by the This is hosted by the League of Women Voters Beach Cities. Harry. Harry. How what, you doing? Yeah, I mean, I upload stuff when I when I when I hear congressmen and see them. Yeah, I want to know what they're talking. Yes, I do. YouTube. Yeah. You have a channel? Yes, Arthur Christopher Shopper. That, that's my name, Arthur Christopher Shopper. No problem. So here we are. So Perry, tell me what happened really quick about the signs. Yeah, like a voters lady uh, said, I cannot have any signs inside the theater. Okay. So I stuffed them, uh, hopefully, in a safe place. Oh, some fresh right, you don't have to tell home. anybody. Now, what was her? Okay, so because this is an event that's sponsored by who? By the League of Women Voters, and she didn't have a reason why we can't have it. Right. I volunteered to cover them with a coat and not show anybody, and she didn't accept that. Seems a little unreasonable because uh, I don't look very violent. So I find it hard to believe there's going to be police officers in there. They can, she can easily ask police officers to tell us not to raise our signs. So I think it's sort of unreasonable. For you not to have your signs? It's not to have our signs. It's unreasonable. There we are, folks. And, uh, okay, so what time is it right now? But you have to turn your you have to turn your clock on. Let me see if I can find one. Uh, what time is it, officer? Six forty three. Six forty three. Thank you. Okay, Lopez. What is it? Who? Pete Green. Pete oh, Green. that guy over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this guy. Okay. Uh, he shows up at Hermosa Beach City Council meetings in Pete Green. Oh, uh, okay. I discussed uh, the uh, Marine Clean Energy has a 10% overhead. Let me ask something really quick. So, sorry. So, Officer Lopez, were you called all of a sudden, or was it because the congressman's here that you're here? Uh, I'm just here for the congressman. Since he's having an event, I'm just standing by. Okay, Lopez, sorry. Got yes, it. Sir. Cool. Okay. So far, so good. good. Yeah. He doesn't care if you film. So he said he's just called here because the congressman's here. You know, it just it's just shocking to me. That guy over there who talked to us briefly, that guy was texting when I was walking up the sidewalk. I think he was telling people I was coming. But you know, it's very easy for me to be paranoid. There we are at the Hermosa Beach Playhouse. What did you want to ask the congressman about? The uh, student bill of rights. Okay. And he, he, he's very sweet, you both. I got the wrong person. No, with the student bill of rights. Oh, what's your name? Can you tell me what your name is? Rich. Rich. Uh, are you here here in Hermosa? You work with the congressman, or? I uh, know I'm a resident. Oh, here in Hermosa? Yeah, North Redondo. North Redondo. Okay. So yeah, he's yeah. Ted Lou's my congressman, and there's a lot of concerns I have. I'm really what I wanted to ask the congressman about is why he voted against Kate's law, because that's a law that would have doubled penalties for illegals who committed a crime. So I was really concerned about that. He also voted against the tax cuts. Yes, he did. He voted against the tax reform. He voted against repealing Obamacare. He's there's a lot of votes he's cast that I'm a little concerned about. Rich is his name for North Redondo. Okay. Looks like we're about to get in. 